Hi, my name is Arpit and I want to ask you all one very simple question. What if overnight your cash becomes faster, starts to leverage all underlying CPU cores and becomes reactive? Which means it keeps your clients updated in real time without extra complexity. That's exactly what we set out to build. Introducing DiceDB 1.0 an open source fast reactive in-memory database optimized for modern hardware. Today, I'd love to share what makes DiceDB special and how it can help you build better low latency applications. So, modern applications demand speed, scalability and real-time updates. But most existing databases and caches weren't designed to be truly reactive. This often means writing extra code to poll for changes or maintain complex event-driven systems. We wanted to simplify this. DiceDB is built to be an in-memory database that not only delivers high throughput and low latencies, but also reacts to changes in real time. Now, no more unnecessary polling, just efficient instant updates when the data changes. Before I show you a couple of interesting demos of reactivity, let's look at some performance numbers. We tested DiceDB against Redis on a Hetzner CC2X machine with 4V CPUs and 16GB RAM, which is a decent size machine to test things on. Running get and set operations with four clients using our benchmark utility called Membench. Membench essentially tests end-to-end -end perceived latencies for the given set of operations. And here's what we found. DiceDB provides higher throughput and lower median latencies making it well suited for modern workloads. By the way, if you want to handle more throughput from a single node, just vertically scale the machine and DiceDB will use all the underlying cores and will scale throughput linearly. This way, you will be utilizing the underlying hardware to the fullest. But performance is just one aspect. What truly sets DiceDB apart is its reactivity. Let's install DiceDB and write our first hello world to see what it is all about. So, to start or to install DiceDB, you can very quickly start with a simple Docker command or you can build it from source. You go to DiceDB repository, which is DiceDB slash Dice. And in that, you'll find the Docker command to run. I'll copy paste this onto this and it essentially starts my Docker container. Now, I can install DiceDB CLI. So, for you to interact with DiceDB, you need to install DiceDB CLI which you can do it with these two very simple commands. I need to put password. Once it's done, I copy paste this curl command and I run it. This installs the DiceDB CLI and we are all set to go. Now, to start the DiceDB CLI, I do DiceDB hyphen CLI. I had my server running over here. My CLI is connected over here. I can do classic set operations and get operations, set key comma value, it said okay. I do get k, it gives me the value back, a classic get and set operation. But this is what we typically see with a very standard cache cache use case, right? Now let's talk about what reactivity is all about. Like that's the cool feature out there. So like get, like apart from the regular get command that we just saw, we also have a get dot watch, which is a reactive variant of get. With this, you are essentially subscribing to the get command. And whenever the value that command depends on updates, your client will automatically receive the result. Not just the notification, but the result. Let me explain this with a very simple example. So on this first terminal session, I have connected my, uh, I've connected using CLI to my DiceDB. I run get k, I get value v, but instead of get k, I run get dot watch k. So here I have initiated my watch subscription. I go to another command and run dicedb cli in which I do regular get k, I get the value v. But if I do set k comma v1, so I changed my value from v to v1, the prior session was subscribed to it and I hit enter, the value changed and I got the update in real time. Now if I change the value to v2, bam, I get v2 over here, right? This way, without me polling for the changes, the database is pushing the updates. So now there is no need for constant polling, no need for manually checking if something changed, just real-time updates delivered seamlessly. This makes handling real-time data so much easier. By the way, 
in subsequent releases we will be shipping many more commands that are all read only commands with, with a reactive equivalent okay? that's the best part of dicedb so what's the practical use of it let's understand this with a very simple cli chat room example so for example i have my dicedb running over here i have run uh, so i have built a very simple cli chat room application which you'll find in the dicedb repository under examples so on dicedb repository if you go under examples you'll find a chat room hyphen go application which is loaded right here so if i run go run main.go i have to start it with my name arpit it connected to a chat room session right now i do the same on another window web v okay now when arpit sends a message i say hey so i see the message sent by arpit over here received the message over here itself now when web v sends hello bam i get the message here this is very this is exactly what reactivity is all about without there is no polling if you look at the source code of chat room you would see no polling whatsoever it's all reactive so we made the entire stack reactive now the database is proactively pushing data to the clients whenever it changes to whoever has subscribed to it that's the best part this is pretty 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 cool feature of dicedb that we wanted to double down on now apart from this reactivity which is a really cool feature of dicedb we support a, a very familiar set of commands making it easy to integrate into existing systems the commands like dcr dcr by dl eco exist expire and so on and so forth so if you have worked with redis you'll find dicedb easy to pick up with just an added with just an added benefit of reactivity here you can also find hello world a simple hello world in golang with clis and a reactive application that we just saw we have a golang based sdk for you to get started with it right and a cli chat room that i just showed you now the best part the best part is that dicedb is fully open source we believe great software is built collaboratively and we are excited to have the community contribute improve and shape dicedb alongside us everything from the core database to supporting libraries everything is licensed under bsd3 clause ensuring openness and flexibility for developers dicedb 1.0 is here fast reactive and open to all if you are working on a low latency real time application or need a high performance cache we would love for you to try dicedb give it a spin and contribute if you'd like there are a lot of bugs to fix and lot of features to be built we are reimagining what a modern cache should do so stay tuned have a good day